name is Chris Kuehl, and I'm the Chief Information Security Officer and the Chief Technology Officer here at Dayton Children's. My name is J.D. Whitlock. I've been CIO at Dayton Children's for three and a half years. We're rated as one of the top 50 hospitals in the nation around orthopedics and pulmonology. Every health system of any size has incredible variety of medical devices. The IT part of the technology is not the latest and greatest and not the most secure because it has to go through this FDA process. We have to go to some extraordinary steps to secure those devices and we need some help doing that, which is why we got order. When I first started at Children's three years ago, we looked at the risk of all the different technologies that were on our network. And the ones that really stood out and worried me the most were the ones that could negatively impact patient care if it was compromised. We were vulnerable if these devices got hacked. They were typically open to the rest of the network and that was absolutely a risk. We just knew that we had to do something better. We chose order based on a combination of factors that you normally choose vendors on. Best combination of features and best price. Once we had order deployed in our infrastructure, we had a lot of different use cases. Those ranged from asset identification and classification all the way down through zero trust architecture. With zero trust, instead of that trust but verify, instead it's verify then trust. A big part of zero trust is having visibility of the assets on your network, as well as the communication styles and behavior of those assets and users. And Order does a fantastic job with diagramming that out for us and alerting us when something deviates and starts talking with an outside country that it probably shouldn't be. What was really compelling about the order solution for us was how easy it was to get it implemented and also how it integrated with so many of the products that we already had in-house. From our ITSM platforms that we were moving to, also our infrastructure, which is primarily Cisco, we're able to easily drop it in, integrate it, and start seeing ROI within minutes. It also gives us great tools for automating the access control list that we need to micro-segment the devices on the network. We looked at how long it would take somebody to manually go out and identify these devices, the possibility that somebody could easily miss a device, and we calculated how many man hours that would be in addition to their salary. We realized we were going to save a large amount of money. Our future plan with order include as we implement new medical devices into our environment, it will be micro-segmented before it even gets on the network. We can also see order playing a, a significant part in helping us do reduction of cost. Another department came to us and said, hey, we were tasked with identifying if we need to buy more pumps. Do you guys have any way whatsoever that we could track utilization of these devices? And we were able to demonstrate that we had quite a few pumps that were underutilized less than 5% of the time, so they could redistribute those between the sites and then save the organization money. First of all, one thing that's always important with any vendor at all is the relationship with the company. We've asked for different additional things inside of order and they have come through and delivered on those requests. Our CISO is on order's advisory board and his statement is that the CEO is at every advisory board frantically scribbling down notes and actually implementing the input that is coming from customers. You definitely cannot say that of every vendor and that's one of the things we really love about order. To me that that's a good partner.